Hey guys, welcome back to Joanne's Learning Hub. Today we would be covering the topic of fiscal policy. We would be learning about the government budget, reasons for government spending, classification of taxes and the tax systems, principles of taxation, fiscal policy and the strengths and weaknesses of this fiscal policy. The government budget is the government's financial plans in terms of its forecasted revenues and expenditure for the coming fiscal year. So, a budget surplus is when the government revenue is greater than government expenditure. A balanced budget is when government revenue is equal to government expenditure. And budget deficit is when a gov- the government revenue is lesser than the government expenditure. So why exactly does a government spend? A government spends to redistribute income from the rich to the poor. It spends to pay interest on its national debt. It spends to aid economic growth, to discourage the consumption of demerit goods which have a negative impact on the economy. It also spends to supply merit goods and public goods to its citizens and it spends to subsidize industries. Moving on to the next topic which is taxation. So as we all know, a tax is a government levy on income and expenditure. It is used to fund government spending and to affect the level of economic activity in the country. Now taxes can be classified into direct tax and indirect tax. Direct tax is a tax on income and profits. Whereas indirect tax is basically, as the word suggests, a a tax which is imposed indirectly. It is imposed on a spending. So examples of direct tax include income tax, capital gains tax, corporate tax, inheritance tax and windfall tax. Examples of indirect taxes include goods and services tax which is basically GST, value added tax which is VAT, excise duties which is taxes usually on alcohol, tobacco and petrol, customs duties which is basically import taxes, stamp duty, airport tax and carbon taxes. There are three kinds of tax systems, progressive, proportional and regressive. Progressive taxation is a tax system that deducts a larger proportion of income uh, of tax as a person's income level increases. Proportional tax is a tax system that deducts the same proportion of tax at all levels of income. And regressive taxation is a tax system that deducts a smaller proportion of tax as a person's income increases. So basically regressive tax takes higher proportion of tax from the poor whereas progressive tax takes higher proportion of tax from the rich. Now what are the reasons for taxation? Taxation taxation or taxes is the main source of government revenue. Taxation uh, helps to redistribute income and wealth from the rich to the poor. It helps to discourage consumption of demerit goods and correct market failure. Taxation is imposed to spend more on public and merit goods, to protect infant industries and domestic industries, to limit or discourage consumption of imports and to manage the economy. The principles of a good tax are equity, certainty, economy, convenience, flexibility and efficiency. Fiscal policy is the use of taxation and government expenditure to influence the total demand in an economy in order to achieve its macroeconomic objectives. So there can be expansionary fiscal policy and contractionary fiscal policy. Expansionary fiscal policy is implemented when there is a budget surplus which means that government revenue is greater than government expenditure. So here, the government spending is increased and tax is decreased. On the other hand, contractionary fiscal policy is implemented when there is a budget deficit, which means 
that government revenue is lesser than government expenditure which means that the government is in national debt so the government spending is decreased and taxes are increased so what are the strengths and weaknesses of the fiscal policy fiscal policy uh, has some strengths like uh, there is a short time lag it helps to redistribute income it increases the total supply of economy and spending can be targeted on specific industries it can also encourage consumption of merit goods and public goods however policies can change when new governments are elected implementing fiscal policy may cause budget deficit due to high government spending there may also be conflicts between policies so that is the end of today's video do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you